everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a great Sunday, a great uh, weekend, whatever it is you're doing. Look, this is another episode, segment, whatever you want to call it, of Riding with Rick. This is the less technical, more down to earth, let's just chop it up uh, elements and components of what I have been doing for years and that's disseminating knowledge and sharing what I have learned as a scholar, as a psychologist, as a researcher and scientist uh, surrounding all of the enigmas of the black uh, the black collective. But this is where I just kind of say what's on my mind, talk how I want to talk, feel how I want to feel, but really truly touch bases with you guys. Uh, if you like what you see on the channel if you are getting any information that's a blessing to you first of all hit the like button second of all hit the subscribe button third share with other people because it's the way we're going to uh galvanize and bring people together that's my thing now those of you who follow me uh and keep up with me know a couple of weeks ago i was in a shooting unfortunately for me it's not my first time it was the first time that I wasn't purposely being shot at, but was in the middle of something. I almost got hit and my truck got shot up. But if you remember, I told you about it. Uh, a newly moved in neighbor, 15 year old kid was shot twice. His older brother was 17, was shot once, but it was a graze. Uh, he was treated at the scene of release. My truck was shot up, had to uh, get that taken care of. The crazy thing is I was out there because I heard the escalation and I went out to stop it. Right when I walk out to stop it, kids pulls the gun, starts shooting. And he's shooting while he's running and he's pointing back and bullets are flying, right? And so bullets hit my truck and so the police had to get my consent because there's a couple of bullets that entered, didn't exit, and they needed my consent to get in and search. Well, they found one and they, they looked and they couldn't figure out, they couldn't see an exit for the other one, but they, 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 they saw the entry and they couldn't figure it out. Well, today I was sitting up cleaning out my truck and here it is. A reminder of how blessed I was because one of those bullets entered this glass right here at about this height. I would have been hit in the head. If I'd have been parking, I had just got home 30 minutes before that. I'd have been parking in that same spot where I always park, and I would have not been here. A lot of people sit up and they said, they died, look, you know, maybe this is just a sign to kind of ease away from that, whatever. Number one is, this came and found me. I wasn't in the hood when this happened. Now, I am in the hood a lot, and the crazy thing is, I'm starting to feel safer in the hood than I'm starting to feel in other places. Uh, those kids know when I come there, I come there because I love them. Those kids know when I come there, I come there because I regard them. They have a respect for me. I don't feel threatened. I can literally disagree and still not feel threatened. But it's in these spaces where they're starting to leak out into what is not the hood and they're bringing it with them. And there it's no, it's no regard. I don't know you and these kids didn't know me and they weren't shooting at me. They never disrespected me, but I knew the moment they moved in. If you know, if you've been in the hood and I grew up in the hood, like I say, I've been shot before more than once. I've been stabbed before, all before the age of 18. So I know what this is like. I didn't just take this on because it was cute and it was something to do. I took it on because in every one of those kids, I see me. I don't know why God saved me. I don't know. Well, I do know. I do know. He saved me to do what I'm doing now. He saved me to care about those who are easily tossed away, those who are written off. The only reason people even gave me a second thought in the hood is because the other side of my personality was genius. They looked at me and said, this kid is remarkable if we can just keep it. And the thing is, I wasn't gang banging. They couldn't get me to join. Matter of fact, the biggest tattoo I have is across my back and it says renegade. 
I run on my own. I do my own thing. That has been my thing, whether it's been in the hood, whether it's been in bed. You're not going to make me do something you want me to do. If I'm going to get hemmed up, trust me, it's, I'm hemmed up because it was something I wanted to do. If I lose my life fighting for my, 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 my people and the children in the hood, it's because I wanted to do, not because it was cute, not because somebody talked me into it or guilted me into it. It's because something I believe in. But anyway, if you grew up in the hood like I did, you can look at some stuff and say, this ain't gonna turn out well. I told my neighbors when my, these new neighbors moved in that it's not gonna be long for something pop off. The very next day, one of their vehicles, all four tires was on the floor. I said, here we go. And I never knew it would escalate as quick to what it escalated to, but I knew it was a problem. I just knew the movements. Now, they were never disrespectful to me, very respectful. And the thing is, since this has happened, I've gone and I've checked on this kid several times. Well, more than several times. Well, I guess several, three or more. So several times I've checked on this kid and they can't understand why I'm not angry with them because my truck got shot up because I almost got shot and, and everything like that is, number one is this truck can be replaced. A black life is so valuable even when it doesn't know it's valuable. And forgive me if I get a little emotional because again, one of the times I, shot, I got shot was in the head. So. If I get a little emotional, it's because I'm not supposed to be here. And so I'm here for a reason. And so when I look at these kids, I see me, but I see both sides of me. I see the hard head, nobody could tell nothing, who had a temper like this that was ready to go to the end behind anything. And I see the person who could become anything, who changed his life because he had a kid. And that changed my whole mindset. That whole, if you try me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch you thing went from, as long as you don't bother me and mine, I, I, I'm gonna let you do you. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna be me, but I'm not going out there looking for it. That's all because God kept me. That's because he spared me. Look, These kids need us. I can't stress that enough. These kids need us. I mean, this represents so much. To the average person, it represents death. To me, it represents life because nobody died by this bullet. It was meant for death. I, oh, man. What the enemy meant for evil. God has made it be for good. And mm, I tell you what, I'm going to get off of here. But when you wonder why I'm talking and I'm fighting and I'm telling you to donate, it's because I'm out here fighting to do something different, to be a change a catalyst of change to be something more than the next person complaining and whining about how horrible these kids are to be a, a, an impact in their lives i don't have all the answers but i'm willing to stand up and i'm willing to go in and i'm willing to do something so when i ask you to donate this is why I'm gonna get off of here now, but uh, we've got work to do. I'm not quitting on the kids. I'm not quitting on my people. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna fight. And if one day I should die by the bullet, I died doing what I love, I'm good. I didn't die being the stupid little kid that didn't know how to back down. I, I survived that. And so, you know, you learn a lot about person. You know, everybody looks and they see Dr. Wallace. You don't know what I went through to get here. 
and I know if I can get here and be what I am in the world today and be as respected as I am in the world today despite my past, I believe in them. So again, if you like the content, click the like button. If there are some other topics you want me to talk about, write it in the comment field. Um, if there's something you want to express and share, write it in the comment field. If it's something you need help with, write it in the comment field. Share it. And for those of you who really want to be about this life, come join me. And for those who know what it takes to do something like this, donate. The information is in the box. One way or another, though, Thank you.